Today is, according to my diary, well, according to my clock, it is October the 12th, 2016. It is 8.47 at night. It is a Wednesday. I've been, uh, I was on the computer ordering some some CDs from Vault of Dried Bones. I never heard of this uh, distributor, but I bought uh, some some CDs by Front Abys Abysmal Desolate Shrine and Ritual Chamber. So yeah, always got to have some music, some books, so it keeps life bearable in this desolate wilderness. Uh, I wrote in my diary, I close tonight on page 848. Tomorrow will be October the 13th, 2016. Lord willing, I don't die in my sleep. I'll be on page 849. I'll put these receipts in from dried, Vault of Dried Bones into my diary. I always keep receipts of everything I I consume in this culture that suffers from consumption. Uh, this morning I read again Imitating God in Christ by Hood. I read that this morning. And then what I read I read some more of The Village today. The Village, A History of Greenwich Village, 400 Years of Beats and Bohemians, Radicals and Rogues by John Streisenberg. You know, I wish if I could pronounce words, authors, whatever, I'd be a genius. That's one reason why uh, I, I always admire people who can pronunciate. Uh, when I was growing up, I was a stutterer. When I was in uh, middle school, or what you call uh, junior high, I, I took speech classes. I mean, I had to go see speech therapists because I stuttered so bad. And uh, I stuttered for up until I think I was in seminary. I don't stutter that much anymore, but I have a hard time pronunciation. So I read The Village and then I read John O'Hare's Ourselves to Know, the novel. And that's where I stopped. I was going to read tonight. I've been saying the title of this is wrong. It's I've been saying Parisian. Well, that's not. My wife has always corrected me. It's The Parsians. P-A-R-T-I-S-A-N-S. -S. It's not... It's the Parsians. Marriage, Politics, and Betrayal Among the New York Intellectuals by David Laskin. Now, I mentioned here Mary McCarthy, but I also mentioned Jean Statford. I mentioned a couple of video, videos ago, I was reading a story out of her collected works, which won the Pulitzer Prize. Well, today in the mail, I received a biography. I bought a used biography on Jean Stafford called The Interior Castle, The Art and Life of Jean Stafford by Anne Holbert, Herbert. I collect, I love biographies. Um, I like reading about writers and poets and painters and beats and radicals and journalists and people who keep diaries. So I bought this and I was going to mention that she was married to the, po the poet Robert Lowell. You can also read, a, there's this book I bought a long time ago, it's called, it's a biography of Poets and Their Youth, a memoir by Eileen Simpson. 
reminiscences about Jerry John Berryman, who was a poet, R.P. Blackmer, Randolph Sh Sherwell, Robert Lowell, Delmore Schwartz, and Gene Stanford, and others. Uh, I started reading this a couple years ago. I didn't get much into it, but I got it back out. Also, I have a biography on Robert Lowell. I have a couple of them, but this is the one I was last trying to read. I didn't get that far. You can see I got that far into it. It's called The Lost Puritan, The Life of Robert Lowell by Paul Morani. Also, the last book of poetry I bought on Rob, by Robert Lowell was The Notebook. Usually I don't buy poetry books new, but I bought this new. I think this came out in 1995. I have a bunch of bo uh, poetry books by Robert Lowell downstairs, but this is the one I was last reading. So I got out to go with Gene Stafford. And um, yeah, I was going to read this tonight. The Parsians, Marriage, Politics, and the Trail Among the New York Intellectuals. Also, uh, I mentioned uh, the book last night. Uh, Exiles Return, A Literary Odyssey of the 1920s by Malcolm Cowley. There's also this book I was reading a couple of months ago, Exile in Paris, uh, Richard Wright, James Baldwin, Samuel Beckett, and others on the left bank by James Campbell, Exile in Paris. Also, Cowley wrote this book called A Second Flowering, Works and Days of the Lost Generation by Malcolm Cowley. He has uh, chapters on here in Fitz, uh, Scott Fitzgerald, Hemingway, Dust Paulus, Cummings, uh, Faulkner, Wolf, Hart Crane, the part of the Lost Generations. So if you're into the Lost Generation, the 20s, 30s, American writers in exile or in Paris and New York. Pick this up. Also, there's I bought oh, a couple years ago The Long Voyage, Selected Letters of Malcolm Cowley, 1915 to 1987 by Malcolm Cowley, edited by Hans Bank. Uh, I really like letters and memoirs and uh, so I bought this. I, I have all of Malcolm Cowley's books. He was a, a literary critic. He wrote about the lost generation. He wrote about Hemingway and Faulkner and Scott Fitzgerald and uh, John Dos Las Palas and Ezra Pound. And he knew all the literary modernists. And I'm really into literary modernism. You can tell from watching my videos. I'm not really into popular literature. I'm more into literary modernism. But I do like some postmodernism and some pre-modernism. Also, uh, I was mentioning, I was reading that book on Greenwich Village. The, uh, I'm really into Bob Dylan. This is called Positively Fourth Street. The Lies and Times of Joan Baez, Bob Dylan, Minnie Baez, Fortini, and Richard Fortini. There is a chapter in here on Bob Dylan and singing in the cafes and the coffee houses in Grimmage Village, giving a, a little description of what life was like back then. Also, if you want to read about that time period, the Greenwich Village. This is a, one of my favorite books. I've mentioned it in past videos. New Art City, Manhattan in mid-century. There is uh, sections in here on the art scene in Greenwich Village in the 50s, 40s, 60s. I think maybe 50s mostly. So I, I mentioned these books. Those who are really into the, 
Grimmage Village and to the whole literary scene, the poetry scene, painting in New York City. And uh, so, yeah, I thought I'd just mention these books because that's what's on my mind. So that's what I've been looking at today in my book world, and I'm hoping you're having a good day. And till next time, bye.